welcome back dear students to the lux school of science and today in chemistry we are going to do lots of interesting work maybe this may be hard also so please do attend this class very nicely because it is very important this class today's our topic is with the heading tokyo metri actually stoichiometry spelling may be k c h whatever you like that you can to do this okay for from the textbook you can see this stoichiometry stock as you are see it talk stock stock means we have gathered some material okay and when we are gathering this material at that time the amounts are important so here in chemical reactions when chemical reactions is going on when chemical is reaction is going on then how many number of elements or compounds are taking part in that department is known as stoichiometry that is known as stoichiometry so dear students stoichiometry is very vital very important thing to study because there is lots of calculation according to it so my humble request to you please do this class attend very nicely okay chalo so first we will go with for example natto ko three we used to speak that is sodium carbonate that is sodium carbonate now there is some question that why sodium carbonate is has only this formula why sodium carbonate has only this formula why not other formula so our argument is that na is plus co3 is minus 2 and that's why this two come to na and one come go to the co3 and thus na to co3 is obtained and this is nothing but the stoichiometry for the compound oh sorry stoichiometry for the element for the compound to being compound also we can discuss that c a o h twice <coughs> why what is happening here calcium plus 2 o h minus 1 so 2 is going to attach with the entire o h entire oh and that's why cao is twice one is the thing meaning to write so formula for calcium hydroxide is the thing but the this cao is twice okay lime we used to also speak as a stock lime so lime has formula cao is twice why this salt common salt nsc now what is being here Na plus Cl minus both are one one both are same so no attachment will be done and that's why NaCl has the stoichiometry Na one Cl one calcium hydroxide has stoichiometry Ca one OH twice same thing we will go further more and that is for the Mg plus two and O minus two. This is in this stoichiometry plus two minus two both are same thing, and as same same thing the common out will be there, and what will be common out? Two will be common out, or we can say cut out. So MgO will be there, and that is the stoichiometry of MgO. So good. So this is our idea about the terminology or stoichiometry. Dear students. This stoichiometry is very easy to understand, but this stoichiometry when come in equation, at that time it is being hard. So please see, remember how the elements convert into the ions, compound convert into the ions, and how they got combined with each other, but with the certain stoichiometry to form the compound. And this is our first target to understand. Now, after this first target, in stoichiometry department, 
we are going to talk about an equation. An equation, this is very important thing. So please do attend with nicely. I am writing equation here. Let NaOH is going to combine with HCl. What will we produce? Anybody of you can answer? Okay, when NaOH is reacting with HCl, what is going to happen here? NaCl is produced. Very good. Everyone is telling me. Vandana, Hamal, all are telling that NaCl is going to produce. Very good. So, main product is NaCl. Yes, H2O is also there, son. Yes, very good. So, I was reading H2O and that answer was also there. So, H2O is also producing here. So, this is same. So, here, first reactions we are making that to, we are making that nothing but the when NOS combined with the HCl, it is providing us sodium chloride and H2O. Now, anybody who don't understand this, please don't worry. I'm going to explain you for you. So, here actually NOA is dividing into two parts Na plus OH minus. Same thing, HCl is also going to divide itself into two parts, H plus and Cl minus. Now here, the cross connection of Na and Cl is doing out from here plus, here minus, and NaCl is produced. And when OH and H, that means H two times, and one time oxygen, H2O is produced. Now here the most important question is that whether this reaction is balanced or not. So everyone will tell, sir, it is balanced reaction. Sir, it is balanced reaction. So no problem. Okay, balanced. Fine. Now see what I'm going to do with this. This reaction actually I'm going to speak like this. Here the stoichiometry of NOH, there is nothing. The stoichiometry of NOH is one. HCl, there is nothing acquired in coefficient. So this side, one. Here also one. Here also one. The stoichiometry in this reaction of NOH is one, HCl is one, NACl is one, and H2O is one. Because there is nothing attachment or the coefficient or B side to this element or compound. So what it suggests actually? This is, this is suggesting this. Listen it. When one mole of sodium hydroxide is going to react with one mole of HCl, it is producing one mole of NaCl and one mole of water. When one mole of sodium hydroxide is going to react with the one mole of hydrochloric acid to give one mole of salt and one mole of H2O. So here nothing means these are reacting in one mole. And we used to write here one, 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 one. So this is our first criteria to understand. Okay, so this is our first criteria. We can understand, we can make understanding by this is this. Okay. Chalo. Now, second thing we are going to discuss is also very interesting. I'm writing another reaction. Okay, we will take anyway same. We are going to take NOH same. We are not going to change NOH. In second reaction, NaOH is going to react with the H2SO4. What will be product? Anybody can predict this? Here we are using this is known as stoichiometry. Na2SO4 or NaSO4? What was the answer? I didn't see. Na2SO4, one that is telling. Yes, all are telling. Very good. So here, what we are going to get is NaSO4H2O. Very nice. 
so here i'm writing na 2 so4 and h2o done that's the now my question uh, my explanation for those students who didn't understand this okay so just let's check out this when any weight group na plus weight minus when h s is breaking out it give 2 h plus and so4 minus 2 now dear students why from where we come to know that it should be so4 minus 2 because here 2 is there and that's why 2 is going to set the power of so4 as a minus 2 and it is plus so so4 is minus 2 as plus now the cross connections will appear and due to that cross connection dear students what is going to happen this na is going to react with so4 now two will attach with this and that's why na 2 so4 is there and as usual this is water h plus and oh minus h2oh is there so everything is now settled here we understand that how the equations are gaining here so that is the first case that how the equation is being now from your side my dear students tell me whether this chemical reaction is valid or not no is the answer unbalanced is the answer yes everyone so this is very sweet class here i really admire with you huh? very interesting class so let's check out you in uh, uh, in offline you are going doing so, so nice you will do because in online you are doing such much thing so the class will be very interesting when it will come online so i am praying that you immediately come okay fine anyway plus as to so for that will be na to so for now to balance what i have to do see here and how many times two times so that's why i will put here two okay as i am putting here two hydrogen is being here two h means two times h and here already another two so two hydrogen plus two hydrogen total four hydrogen and so i need to put here two so now what was what will be the stoichiometry of this so stoichiometry of this will be two one one and two stoichiometry of this will be two one one and two okay so what it suggests actually what it is saying it is saying that when two mole of sodium hydroxide is going to react with the one mole of sulfuric acid to give one mole of sodium sulfate and two mole of water so this is my understanding okay two mole of sodium hydroxide that is nawh is going to react with one mole of sulfuric acid that is h2so4 to give one mole of sodium sulfate plus two mole of water okay so hope you all understand as here too we come to know that here so4 minus 2 and as so4 minus 2 it will attach with this so this is nothing but uh, law of multiple proportion it is proving the law of multiple proportion how see here so4 is attaching hydrogen two times because hydrogen plus one so so4 should be attached with the sodium also two times and that is the evidence of law of multiple proportion so now dear students i am going to write a third question you have to write the product again i am not changing noh noh is now going to react with the h3po4 what will be the product suggest the product your noh is going to react with the h3po4 what will be your suggestion for the product
Umanan, check it properly. Deep, check it properly. Dia, check it properly. Yes, Vidisa. NA3PO for first time. First answer I read from the Vidisa is nothing but the NA3PO4. NA3PO4, yes, Devraj. Correct. Sriya, correct. Okay. Why NA3PO4? So here hydrogen is three times. Means PO4 is minus three. And this minus three is going to attach with the NA3. Okay, Park. Now this will be the S2 only. Now everyone will say that this is not a balanced equation. And as it is not a balanced equation, we have to balance out it. We have to balance out it. So now who is going to do balance for this? Anu balance on kar se. Who is going to balance? Chalo lakhi do jay rite me 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2 lakhi, 1, 1, 1, 1 lakhi, rite ama kon lakhi se? Chare chare maate. Chare chare maate lakhi. You are correct Amal. Diya. But chare chare maate lakhi do koma kari ne. Yes, Vidisha. Here three NaOH. Okay, and three H2. Because three NaOH as you are writing, three hydrogen plus three hydrogen, six hydrogen. Six hydrogen we have to make. So correct Hamal. Three, one, one, three. This will be the stoichiometry of the equation. So hope that you understand the stoichiometry of the equation very nicely. So now, of that, there will be no problem to understand the stoichiometry of any such equation. You are ready to write this kind of equation and its stoichiometry. Okay? So I'm removing this. <clears throat> now, the most important portion of this data is on peace. Okay, yes. So now, most important portion is started. So, we are Okay, where we can apply this knowledge? Our knowledge can apply to this knowledge. Okay, so that we are going to study. So, first reaction I am writing, as usual, NaOH plus HCl, that is giving NaCl plus H2. Is it so? Now first we will write stoichiometry of each. So stoichiometry is the thing but the one, 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 one. Now I am going to write molecular mass. Molar mass or molecular mass. Now sodium is 23, oxygen is 16 and one, hydrogen one is it is 40. 40 I will write, first only 40. Here molecular mass is Cl 35.5 and hydrogen 1 36.5. I am not going to write unit. 23 plus 35.5, that is 58.5. And here 80. Now make out your clearance. What is your clearance? One mole of NaOH is going to react with one mole of HCl to give one mole of sodium chloride and one mole of water. Now, these only I am speaking in another way. When 40 gram of NaOH is going to react with or 50 gram per mole of NaOH is react to, going to react with 36.5 gram per mole of HCl to give 58.5 gram per mole of NaCl and 18 gram per mole of water. So this is attached. Now here we are writing comparison. Now we have to compare this. So dear students, this is the most important point. When you are going to compare it, what you have to do? You have to bring everyone at the one mole. But then one mole per lavana. But one more per lavar, but a super one. Who is that the process with the neighbor? Forty divided by one. Forty divided by one. 
36.5 divided by 1. 58.5 divided by 1. 18 divided by 1. It is a ratio hoy, J mole hoy, J stoichiometry hoy, and divide by hoy. You have to divide by stoichiometry, then you have done compare. So, I compare character you give, Jaratome and Sanasi divide Kuroso, stoichiometry divide Kuroso, the compare Kuru Kiva. And I have a lot of weight. Compare Kuroso of weight mullets. A forty gram of NOH react with thirty six point five gram of. HCl to produce 58.5 gram of NOH and 18 gram of uh, NaCl and 18 gram of. So this is simple our trajectory. Okay, how the how many gram of what will react to give what? Okay, so you understand sugar one the degree. But that is a mole lucky do, mole lucky apasina, molecular mass lucky do, molecular mass lucky apasina, divide karido, it will compare karyo. Okay, and when you are comparing this thing, you will get the idea. Okay, so of that you understand this. So now my next question is this come on, you have to do. So I try karjo, now I will explain. 100% I will explain. The question is 63 gram of HNO3 reacts with 63 gram of then I will repeat it. 60 gram of HNO3 is given. That means here we get 63 gram. Now how we got 63 gram? So we have written equation. HNO3 plus NaOH to give NaNO3 that H2O from the information. This is one mole, this is one mole, one mole, one mole, on or one mole. Then I have right molecular mass. HNO3 molecular mass is 63, NO is 40, NO3 85, and H2O is 80. Now I'm dividing this by stock. Okay, so 63 by 1 by means 63 gram is used, 40 gram is used, 85 gram is used, 18 gram is used. Okay, that means now 63 gram will give you HNO at NO3 85 gram. So this will be our understanding. Now do raise for the second question. If 40 gram of NOH reacts with the H2SO4, how many gram of NA2SO4 is 